Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. Welcome to Quick Tip of the Week. Today, I'm going to give you an in-depth tutorial about the Gradient tool. Let's get started. Okay, so welcome back guys. This is a uh, quick tip of the week. Today I'm going to be showing you a uh, quick, but it's still going to be in-depth tutorial about the gradient tool. It has come to my knowledge that um, uh, the gradient tool the tutorial that I did um, quite a bit ago, maybe close to a year ago actually, is my number one most viewed video and I went back and watched it and realized I didn't go really in-depth with it. I didn't really tell you much about what it could actually do. I just told you like the basics of what it could do. I just told you what it can do in general. So now I'm going to go a little bit more in depth so you can uh, make sort of different different uh, kind of uh, effects with this. So let's, let's just get started. So first thing we're just going to do 1280 by 720 nice uh, high definition and then just unlock that. So we're going to go over here to the tool um, bar and go to gradient tool. Sometimes it'll be the paint bucket that's selected, so you're just gonna have to left click and hold and then go to gradient tool. Okay, so now this is where you basically do everything, okay? It's just a matter of what you want to do. Okay, so up here is where the entire thing is all your uh, options that you can choose from. Here is what I just uh, sh uh, showed you it's a uh, diamond diamond kind of thing it's it's actually really cool it, it, you can uh, if you make it correctly you can make it sort of look like a hallway kind of thing so that's a really cool effect that I found you could do this one is sort of I've never really used um, these first these last three these last three I've never really used so I'll just show you them really quickly so then there's this one which is just a line um, you can sort you can use this maybe make some sort of chrome text or something like that but I can show you that later on and then here is one that I've never used before and I probably won't ever use. Um, it's just that, which you can mess around with it, maybe make something cool out of it, but I, it's not really what I like. Um, and then these are the, two, the main two that I use, which is this one, just the gradient, uh, black to white. Uh, on With this one, I would recommend you go from the entire page over like this and let go so it'll give it a more of an effect instead of just going like this and it just sort of cuts off. So just the entire page over and it'll give it a more of a faded effect. And then this one is the one that I use the most, which is the circular gradient, which um, it's probably the most used thing in uh, Photoshop. Um, now again, you can use all these things. And then if you just want the color to be the other way, you can just reverse, which is one of these three. I would leave these two alone, just leave them alone. Just mess with the reverse right here. So turn on reverse, and then it'll basically be going the other way. So that's something really quick and really cool that you can mess around with. Now, this is the most important part: is how you want, is what the colors you want uh, want them to be. Um, in my in my gradient tool tutorial about a year ago, I just showed you just to use these two colors down here. Which yes, you can use those two colors. It's that's perfectly fine. Nothing's wrong with it. But to go into an even more in depth. Uh, way of making your gradients. You can go up here. Now I've actually got a lot of gradients that I use. Um, actually a lot of gradients. But I'll just show you how to like make your own. So I have the first one right here. And then all you have to do, it, instead of clicking on the drop down arrow, click on the actual picture itself. And then this box should show up. Again, you'll have all your different gradients here, but I'm just going to mess around with this. This is where you want everything to happen. Uh, you can even sit whenever you make your own gradient, you can even save it like that and just save it anywhere. Okay, um, so right now I'm just going to show you how to make your own gradient basically. So, basic, okay, so this is what the entire thing is. Down on the bottom is where the color is, okay? And then right here is the opacity and where the color location is, okay? Um, so, uh, as you can see, this is a black color right here, and then all I'm going to do is click on the one above it and turn the opacity even down, and, it, and it'll go completely blank. Okay, so that's what this basically is, it's just a blank, uh, is a uh, black, uh, the entire thing is black, but then over here, you just uh, make a new one, make a new uh, point by clicking on the top up here and it should make a new point and then but we don't want a new point right now 
So we're just going to click right here and turn the opacity down all the way to zero. So it'll just go to the background color. Okay. But if you don't want that, then you can just make your own color. Just turn this all the way up to 100% and then click on this and change it to any color that you want. And then it'll be any color that you want. Again, you can make any kind of adjustments like right here. I'll make it just a random color like that. And then this is basically how you create Chrome text also. So I will create a quick version of Chrome text. Okay, so that's basically Chrome text. That's like a little, really, really quick version of it. Um, you can also uh, make the same kind of color by clicking on this. Make sure that you clicked on it and then just click over here. It'll make the exact same color. Anywhere you want, it'll make the exact same color. Okay, so that's, these are just the different ways that you can create all type of gradients that you want. Um, so this is just how to make your own gradient. This is like a basically a very in-depth a tutorial on how to use the gradient tool. Um, smoothness, just how smooth do you want it to be? I'll show you like that. It's really smooth. So you can do so many, there's so many possibilities that you can do with this. And again, you can just make your own and save them and then have them in your gradients forever, basically. Uh, there's just a whole bunch of different type of things that you can make all these different gradients. You can see all the different techniques that they've used to create all these different things. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is just a, a very in-depth tutorial about how to use the gradient tool, like really use it instead of just a very general idea that I made a year ago. I hope this really did help. Um, you can even you can do all sorts of possibilities with this. Um, so thank you guys, and uh, if you want to learn more about Photoshop, Adobe After Effects, Cinema 4D, and Adobe Illustrator, then please do remember to su uh, subscribe, guys. Thanks, and I'll see you later.